enough theory. Let's talk about actually juggling. How do we go about it? How do we learn? So the wonderful thing about the juggling community is that they're very open and excited. They love people to join them. If you ever go see a magician and they perform a trick, you say, wow, that's amazing. How'd you do it? Oh, oh, I can't show you. Oh. But if you see a juggler perform, you say, wow, that's amazing. How'd you do it? They say, here, let me show you. Let's build up to it. Jugglers love to share their art. It's a beautiful community. So one of the best ways to learn juggling is to get to know some jugglers. You might be lucky enough to live with somebody who juggles or work with somebody who juggles. If not, there's oftentimes local juggling clubs nearby. Seek them out. That's one of the best ways to learn. So how do we go about juggling? Well, there's a couple of things to be aware of, but we're going to start very simple. We'll try to do some more interesting things later on. But here are some basic tips. First off, dress comfortably. You want to wear relaxed clothing because you're going to be moving a little bit. You can have some good balls. And uh, definitely don't start with eggs. Eggs are a terrible way to start learning to juggle, but uh, you can get some relatively decent juggling balls for not too much money. I like to use bean bags, mostly because they don't roll away on you. Now, where do you actually start? Well, first off, what's going to happen? You're going to juggle and you want to have your arms relaxed, elbows by your side, but you don't want to be tight. You definitely don't want to be scrunched up. Relax. And the goal is to try to keep this posture. So as you juggle, one of the things you want to do is make sure that you're juggling in a nice, consistent fashion. It's important that both sides are equally as good. As the juggler might say, I'd give my right arm to be ambidextrous. Well, not very useful, right? Uh, some things you want to be aware of when you're starting is there's a tendency when people start to juggle to throw the balls a little bit forward. So if you throw it forward, what happens? We got to move forward to catch it. Then you throw the next ball forward and you got to move again. And pretty soon you're out of the picture. Why? Because you're out chasing your balls. And that means you're not juggling, you're joggling. So when you juggle, imagine that you, there's this plane here and you want to have all the balls be inside of that plane so that you have this nice, consistent stand in place. Don't have to worry about it. Some people like to start juggling by standing in, inside of a door frame just to help them sort of keep that visual in mind. Okay, stay put. Here's the frame I want everything to be in. Now, if you read the Klutz book of juggling, it's actually kind of a fun book. Pretty good. Gets you going. They say the first lesson in juggling is this. Just throw it. Don't even worry about catching it and let it hit the ground. Now, of course, you're probably saying, wow, I've mastered that. Don't forget, you should probably do it from both hands, right? You want to make sure you're equally good. Now, if you're wondering, how do I know I'm going to be a good juggler? The answer is, if you really enjoy the following. Whenever you find somebody who loves picking balls off of the floor, that person is going to be an amazing juggler. Because no matter how good you are, inevitably, you will drop some balls. All right, so let's assume we've mastered the art of throwing a ball without worrying about catching it. Now comes our first sort of foray into juggling, which is we want to just throw the ball and catch it. Now, some things to be aware of. We want the ball throws to be consistent. In other words, always at about the same height. A little bit overhead height is a good place to start. So we want them to be consistent, and we want to have to not move our arms too much because if you don't have very good control it's going to be really hard to maintain it. Now don't try to follow the ball with your head. It's going to be a little bit hard to do. Now with one ball you can do it but if you have three balls oh what a pain in the neck. What you want to do is look roughly at the peak of the ball. So it's going to take a little bit of getting used to. 
you've got to learn sort of where will the balls go and it takes practice so yes anticipate you will be doing some practice and so you want to get comfortable and uh, just practice this is one of those things you can do say if you're watching you know mindless tv and uh, all right great grab a ball and do a little bit of practice now pretty soon you're going to be convinced look i can throw and catch one ball am i really juggling oh kind of but people want to say what's the next step well the next step is two right if you start with one next step would be two so what's the goal the goal is we're going to throw a ball and it's going to come up and after it peaks and starts coming down we're going to throw this ball so that it does something similar now seems pretty easy think one two catch catch done what's the challenge well the challenge is panic what what happens is when you start seeing this ball come you're like oh no there's a ball coming and there's something in my hand i've got to get rid of it and so oftentimes what people do they don't think about what's the good way to throw it they say ah so it doesn't like this ah probably shouldn't put so much glass over there all right so don't panic be calm you want to try to go throw throw and so avoid the urge or you know don't do that don't be like ah oh, i gotta get rid of it i'll move it over yes there are juggling patterns where you actually do a quick move across but we're not going to get there yet so one two catch catch also start with the other hand one two catch catch and you want to get to the point where you can do this comfortably all right so there you go now initially when you start juggling you're going to feel like what what you make it look too easy i can't do this and even with two balls uh, what now the one thing to keep in mind is that as you practice you'll get better with it and when you're away from practicing your mind is sort of thinking about things like okay when you had this type of throw this was the behavior that was bad but when i did this it was good and so your mind starts doing some error correcting you might think about a little bit of machine learning if you want to be fancy and so when you come back the next time you know the next day you'll see whoa i'm slightly better or maybe you're a lot better just depends and so the important thing is consistency five to ten minutes of practice every day is a lot better than an hour and a half practicing once a week the more you practice the more that your mind starts thinking about it and starts building in the small error correction and you get pretty good you can actually advance pretty quickly it's not too too bad you get up to three balls in a matter of a week or so with just a few minutes a day all right so if you're comfortable with the throw throw catch catch what to do next well the next thing three balls so let's just grab a third ball now what are we going to do we're going to do throw 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 right so it's just we're adding one more throw but we're not going to keep going forever we, we want to have control you don't want to train yourself to always juggle until you drop you want to say look i'll i'll juggle and i i can also stop so one two three right or one two three so it's just throw 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 and you catch them you don't even have to keep going and again practice you'll start getting more and more control and now there's this sort of idea mathematical induction right i can do three throws now how about four one two three four stop how about five one two three four five six one two three four five six and after a while you're just like okay let me just go and see how long i can keep going now if you're really good maybe you'll set a world record keep juggling for i don't know maybe 14 15 hours 
course, it takes a while to get used to that. But really, it's all about building up that, that pattern. Throw, throw. Two, this two ball behavior, I can't emphasize enough. Don't feel the need to rush past it. You want to be confident in this. And once you're confident in your ability to do this throw, throw, then you'll see that going up to three balls is not so bad. Throw, throw, throw. Throw, throw, throw. And just practice, practice, practice. And really, once you have the three balls down, there's all sorts of things that we can do. We can change the way we catch. So we can sometimes do these overhead. Boom, we can change the type of throws. Even just with three balls, there's so many variations you can do with this one pattern. So don't belittle yourself. You say, oh, I can only do one pattern. No, if you can do one pattern, you can do all sorts of great things. So we'll get more into that in the future. But for now, practice a little bit every day and you're going to get the hang of it. All right, have a ball.